Since the dawn of time, every boob tube episode has commenced with what is known as a cold open. The cold open is a respected and sophisticated technique used in quality television programs and films in order to hook the audience with a teaser of the brilliance to come. In plebeian terms, the cold open is the bit of your show that happens before you sing along with the title credits. Yet today, we set out to provide our viewers with a tantamount example of a true cold open. <sighs> Pre-recorded from Wellesley College. You're watching Boop Two. Welcome to Wellesley College Television's Boob Tube. I'm Delina Keenly. And I'm Tavia Smith. Wellesley College received an unspecified donation from the Koch brothers to fund the Freedom Project, the group that brings conservative lectures to campus. Because nothing says unbiased education like accepting money from political lobbyists. All about that Coke money, Coke money, Coke, Coke, Coke money. Red Cross recently hosted a blood drive on campus. And in typical Wellesley fashion, students began competing over who could give the most blood. At least four students fainted. Hey, Jelena. Hey, Tavia. Can you guess what hotshot vegetable is going to steal the spotlight in the dining halls this week? Hmm. Beats me. A student recently sent out a survey asking the Wellesley community about their toilet habits in an effort to bring bidets to campus. So when you're not kissing your professor's ass, you can make sure your own gets a little TLC. And now, Georgie on the street. So, it's safe to say we live in a time of political turmoil. People have been like, hey, what can I do? One way people have been taking action is calling their representatives. Have you done that? Yes, I have. I have called my representative. Yes, and I hate Ted Cruz. He's a pain in the butt. No, but I did write a letter to my representative. I addressed him as human Beelzebub. What did you call them about? Um, it was basically about the Muslim ban. I called about uh, the confirmations of Secretary DeVos and um, Jeff Sessions, uh, so I urged my senator to not uh, confirm them. Uh, I had a list. A lot of people are afraid of calling their representatives because they're like, eh, making phone calls makes me nervous, which I think is totally valid. What would you tell those people? Um, I'd say that the role of the staffer is really just to be a messenger, so it's not like you're going to encounter any kind of hostility. So it's really just kind of like talking into the void and knowing that what you're saying will get passed on to the people in charge so it's a very low stress situation you don't have to you know have a very detailed argument it's really just I don't want this to happen or I do want this to happen how would you feel about calling one of your representatives right now absolutely I like I, literally I call my friends I might as well call John Duncan Jr. human Beals above of Tennessee sure yes. oh my god yes sure I don't have a number on me but I can I can provide you with these resources thanks to fivecalls.org you can go to fivecalls.org and if you just put in your zip code they'll give you a list of issues and you just choose an issue that matters to you and then it gives you the name of like your senator or whoever and a script and you just call them and it's super duper easy. I have to go to the bathroom. Hi, my name is Laura and I'm a constituent from Maryville, Tennessee. Please tell the governor I thank them for standing for the immigrants in our state. I'm calling to express my support for Congressman, Congressman Nadler's resolution of inquiry, which requests information from the Justice Department on Trump's potential conflicts of interest, which are serious. Um, I just wanted to call to let you know, um, do you want my zip code? The line is busy. Looks like other people are also trying to do the same thing. I just want Beto O'Rourke to know that I really appreciate all the work that he's done. Okay, also tell him that I was the person who wrote the letter, addressed him as human beals above. That was me. Thanks. Gracias. Bye-bye. We dropped our last episode on December 14th, and needless to say, a lot has happened around the world since then. So, to catch up, we've invented a fun new segment called Bad Bad Good. Ready, Tapia? The wall wasn't a joke. The Muslim ban was for real. Um, but Beyonce's having twins. Betsy DeVos was confirmed with no experience, and Sally Yates was fired for doing her job, but uh, Obama seems like he's having a lot of fun on vacation. Keystone and Dapple restarted massive deportations and ICE raids across the country. Um, do we have another, any more good news? Or Beyonce's twins count for two? And now, a word from our sponsors. Are you a high school senior with big dreams? Are you searching for the perfect college experience that will provide you with the skills you need to survive in our modern society? 
Well, look no further. The place for you is Wellesley College, a premier liberal art school located in the beautiful blue state of Massachusetts. But don't just take our word for it. Our reviews from real students, friends, and family tell you everything you need to know. We've been described as a liberal mind control factory. Just give us your perfectly decent child and we'll send home a deranged social justice warrior. This sophisticated educational technique led many to praise us as one of the leading snowflake factories in the U.S. To help you on your journey, we have countless professors here to support you with their diverse and inclusive classes. Why not try underwater basket weaving? You'll develop all the skills you need to be a perfect Etsy shop owner. Or what about our LGBTQ BBQ class? Learn how to cook so you can throw hot rainbow colored food in the face of anyone who tells you to stay in the kitchen and cook for your husband. I'm gay and I'm not afraid to hurt you. If you work hard at Wellesley for four years, you can be anything you want to be. You could even be trash. If you graduate with Latin honors, you could even be absolute trash. Apply to Wellesley College, where we oppress this cis straight white man. And this cis straight white man. And that one too. Welcome to the safest space on earth. The Oscars are being held tonight, and although it's hard to know for sure what will happen, we feel comfortable making a little prediction. A white B-list celebrity will say something vaguely political, and BuzzFeed will let you know with the headline, Blank called out Donald Trump and it was perfect! Thanks for watching BoobTube. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. And don't forget, stay perky! What's on the boob tube?